द नितेश तिवारी डायरेक्टेड रामायण स्टारिंग सुपर स्टार रणबीर कपूर साई पलावी कैश एंड सनी दियोल इन द लीड इज अमंग द मोस्ट एंटिसिपेटेड फिल्म ऑफ इंडियन सिनेमा While Ranbir Kapoor has the humongous task ahead of him to portray Lord Ram, Sai Pallavi has been cast as Sita, Yash as Ravan and Sunny Deol as Hanuman. Over the last few weeks there has been tremendous speculation around Ramayan with some false senseless rumors going around that the film has been delayed until 2025. Well now, it is officially confirmed that Ramayan is set to begin shooting on April 2nd in Mumbai. Nitesh and his team are all ready to start shooting for Ramayan. A set has been constructed at Film City and that's where the journey of this anticipated film begins. It's the setup of a grukul which has been combined with a green screen for enhancement in the post-production VFX process. The first schedule will begin with the child artists playing Lord Ram, Lakshman and Bharat. Nitesh Tiwari will be shooting for the childhood portions of Lord Ram where Guru Vashishth gives life lessons to Lord Ram and his brothers. Shishir Sharma has been cast to play the role of Guru Vashishth and Indira Krishnan has been cast to play Mother Kusalya whereas the names of child artists have yet to be revealed. It's a pure and honest take on Ramayan. The makers are being very cautious to do justice to every part that's been written in the books. Listen to what Nitesh Tiwari had to say speaking of it last year. Uh, you know, or the earliest memories, uh, you know, you, so whatever you want to call it, right? From, are still thirty years old. So we really haven't seen Ramayana in a form in which it deserves to be told. Mm. And when I saw the kind of world which Ravi is creating, Ravi Udayavar, you know, uh, he is creating the world uh -huh. for Ram, and. Uh, the kind of work he has put in you know i came on board little later by that time that he had already put in a lot of work right when i saw you know that world uh -huh. it kind of blew me and when you have your partners uh, from uh, the producer side who are equally passionate and are willing to go all the way right. to create and enable you to be able to create tell your story in that world yeah so you have a story which is uh, got uh, you know uh, fantastic uh, belief uh, in our culture and you have uh, a very uh, interesting way of executing it and you have people who are backing you uh, you know so it that all the all those things make it extremely exciting for me to be a part of this project i consider myself very lucky and now nitesh you're embarking on this very ambitious ramayan trilogy yes um of course it's ambitious but it's also brave given the current cultural climate um, tell me how Are you going at this, and how do you sort of tackle things like a Lakshman Rekha or the idea of a Agni Pariksha for a woman, and how do you make this happen for the 21st century audience? See, that's why you know it's taking us uh, so long to uh, write it. Uh, you know, uh, and we are still you know uh, very much uh, trying to get it right on uh, paper. Uh, we are very well aware that there are a lot of sensibilities which are involved. uh in something you know uh, ramayan which is so close to our heart and uh, we are also uh, aware that you are writing it for somebody who is 6 years old also and somebody who is 60 years old also absolutely so it's almost like a very 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 daunting task for you to appeal to this kind of a range you know normally it's very easy that this is a youth centric film and when a film which is uh, like this so you know uh, yes uh, lot of things you have to keep in mind ki okay these things can be taken care of in execution but these things are some things which you should not touch because there are a lot of sensibilities which are involved you also need to understand where all you can take those little liberties you also need to also understand that where are the certain things which you should not even be touching you know so these are the debates which we and the writers and a lot of uh, pandits who are also helping us out are also guiding us ki ye kar sakte ho ye kar sakte ho ye mat kariyega ye bilkul mat kariyega you know so we are also very well aware you know we respect uh, sentiments uh, and we are very responsible filmmakers uh, so we are doing that but the idea is to create something you have not seen before the idea is to present ramayan in the form which it deserves and uh, lot of us are, are in it uh, you know me ravi uh, shridhar alu sir uh, we feel there is a sense of responsibility we have towards our kids 
know, we we they the kids know the basic skeleton of uh, Ramayana. They don't really know it in depth, but they know everything about Avengers, mm -hmm. right? Um, which I don't know. Uh, so maybe you know it's about time when they also fell in love with uh, Ramayana, and for that you know they need to come to the theater to see that kind of execution. Mm -hmm. It's a trilogy. And the intent is to not just make a visual spectacle, but a grand film that will educate generations to follow. RK won't be a part of this schedule as RK is wrapping up prep work. RK has been training for the film since late last year. Here's what he had to say on a fan meet on the honor of playing Lord Ram. It is, it is such a humongous project, you know, in, in, its, in its vision and what it means to not just the country, to the entire world. And they want to make it in the best way possible, give a correct representation of the, of the, of the tale of the characters of what Ramayana is. Um, so right now, I don't know. It's, it's kind of in, in limbo. Um, but yeah, I, I hope it works out because I think it'll, it'll really be a privilege and an honor, you know, to, uh, to uh, play Lord Ram and to play him in, in, in its authenticity and the best way possible. Recently, pics of RK amidst movement, yoga, and archery training have surfaced. One pic shared by a trainer showed RK doing his first headstand, and the latter is a selfie with his trainer. In the background, you can see a bow on the table and a bundle of arrows. While Nitesh Tiwari will be shooting for the introduction scenes, Rambir will be off to the Los Angeles studio of Dean Egan Burbank for the final round of 3D scans was been off to the LA studio multiple times over the last few months and this will be the final round of 3D body scans which will be used in the post-production VFX process. As of now, he is expected to join the shoot by mid-April. Ramayan is being produced by Namit Malhotra, the CEO of DNEG, or better known as Double Negative VFX. The renowned company recently won an Oscar for their brilliant VFX work in the Hollywood epic Dune. Ramayan, part one will be shot from April to July with the epic saga is touted to release on Diwali 2025. Are you excited for this film? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.